the march the indie march last saturday did we enjoy it very much so they could have done a better sound system though i thought but yeah. other than that enjoyed it it's very good we could have been a better sound system well, well should have the sound system will work yeah the the wakes and that sorry i've got a lot of their albums the there was something the matter with there was something not right about the sound some system wonder. and some of it was oh. really low they, they weren't getting uh, i mean they they needed a no, proper techie up there, Stuart. All right, look, let's be honest. Um, I think the, well, that was great. the people who put up the PA, more than half the PA was actually wasn't aimed at the... Yep. the uh, they needed a proper techie. The forum or what, what's in front of the stage, they were aimed to the side, as if they were expecting another 10,000 people well, to be there. Well, what they needed was each speaker to get up with a techie, go one, two, three, and I a techie, well, that, to, literally, true. to move the mic. But certainly most of them. I have to say, uh, I spent most of the rally in front of the stage recording as you know with a camera and uh, the sound and um, I was able to pick up all the sound but there was only I think only one speaker so I actually found I was actually impressed by the by the mm. sound um, picking it up on a mic I, I must admit there was a few I could but I think people that had more experience because I thought Canavan came across very well I mean that was um, yeah it was kind of an old-fashioned kind of speaker it was yeah because that was really the red whole Clyde side that was really the whole march was it wasn't done it wasn't a march by the usual suspects no there were very few people there that had even been on a march before there was no chanting two four six eight or uh, but you did have a very suspect group on there the flemings because i've done a wee bit of research and um they're 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 not what one would associate with a social okay but they're either. not they're not all <laughs> right, right let's focus on the very fact that as i say this was not run by the SWP, it wasn't run by the Labour Party, uh, it wasn't run by the SNP. The march was run by was amateurs. It wasn't run by the Yes campaign either. No, it was just run, run by, by a broad the campaign, I thought it was very good. And, uh, the, you know, there was, a quite, there was a lot of that you could tell. I mean, as I said, I, I think I said I went to my first march, must be 30 years ago, a C&D march in 1982, is that 30 years ago? Huh, 1968. Yeah, I went on my first one. Yeah, well, I, I, I still remember. I've still got the photographs, and I interviewed people at that Vietnam, March. Vietnam War. When I went on. Huh? Uh, so, it, you know, there was that aspect of it. There was a great argument, of course, afterwards. The the unionist mainstream press had decided what their line was going to be when they report, when reporting Rubbish. it. They tried not to mention it beforehand and only reported it, oh, the numbers weren't there, what were expected, da, da, da. Well, the, the, actual, right, the breakdown of it is, and keep this in mind, the police security was aimed at 5,000. Mm -hmm. The people who organised it thought between five and seven. Now, there was clicker counting going on that took it to nine and a half. No, it took it to just short of 12, according to Bella Caledonia. Well, the, the stats I saw were nine and a half, over nine and a half. Now, the photographs I've seen from the castle, which are basically the whole of the Ross bandstand was filled. Now, we were in there, and there were gaps. It wasn't jam packed. No, so it was about a thousand short, so it was about 5,000 in there. But its seating capacity is 3,000. So let's just say 3,000. Now, there was as many outside. So that's 6,000. And I've been on. And I'm fairly confident. The nine thousand. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, I thought well, about ten thousand. Yeah, all right. Well, let's, so the point. The point of no, this no, is the point I'm trying to make here is that none of the press discussed it. They just accepted the five thousand. Well, they rubbished it. Well, that's all they wanted to do. Really the point. And they were right. always going to do that because the night before, when it was being discussed, they wanted to hear the number ten thousand because they knew what the police estimate was and they knew what the police would say. Right. Yeah. So, but, it, but anyway, it uh, turned out to be ten times bigger than the last Independence March. And, and the last time there was a rally yeah. on the issue of devolution, which was, again, it was about, when was it the election? 1987. Was it the 92 one? No, it was the 92 election where uh, the Tories suddenly got back in and there was a, a demo called the very next day in George Square in Glasgow. And I went to that because we were all... <coughs> Paul, that the Tories would go back in again, and devolution was being. I mean, I can still remember the the double deck bus and all everybody there in, in George Square. I'm sure Galloway spoke. Yeah, Marcus spoke, didn't you? 
Yeah. George Galloway. Oh yeah. But that's the last time they were, and that was just that was a lot of that was a response to the, the election. You know, it was a, people just turned up at twenty four hours notice in George Square in Glasgow to demonstrate. But who did you like as speakers? Ruth Wisher. Mm -hmm. um, Canavan. Canavan. Um, were very good. Labour for Independence. I thought he. Oh, spoke. he was Alan Rogan was very yeah, he was good. Very good. Um, the guy, the nutter. Who was he? The oh, the that, one, the one that, that chased George... Ian Gray into the pasty shop or something. He was a bit. A he bit was intense. off his head. He I, yeah. He's a kind of. He's kind of a street fighting. He's a bit of a. Well, he was. He wasn't. Tommy Sheridan. Was I think they call him shouty people. A he very shouty person. He didn't really mention independence no. at all. No, he was just. He just. It was about the lack of social democracy in the country. Um, it was the the young girl who spoke, the sixteen year old who mm. spoke. I thought spoke very well. She's young SNP. She didn't come across well uh, sound-wise. She was very low, very quiet. Mm -hmm. Most this people wouldn't have heard what she said. And, well, she and a lot of people were talking to themselves at yeah, that point. You can hear it on the recording. That, yeah. She didn't grab the attention. She might have had a good speech, but people weren't paying attention. Yeah, it's a delivery. She'll, she'll learn. Uh, um, but, but, I mean... Salmond? Yeah. But Salmond, I felt kind of made the mistake that a certain lab uh, Labour Party leader made at a conference. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah I yeah. thought so too. I, I think he went too far with that. I thought he'd, yeah. Oh, know. he was doing it, doing it, Mr. Kinnock, was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least he didn't fall over. Well, um, it was a good day out. And I think, um, I remember reading what there was online, because I don't, don't think it was mentioned in the papers. Mm -hmm about it being a network opportunity, a networking opportunity essentially. And certainly I met quite a lot of interesting people. Mm. Um, and it was a fair political spectrum there. I mean everything from right wing nutters to left wing nutters. Well there were there were some strange coloured nationalists from there were Basques, Catal Catalans, Flemish and even from Northern Italy. So uh, well which could have been they yeah, were well, almost certainly a dodgy. Oh, they were they're definitely true. Isn't that Alberto Bossi's lot? Is it not? Probably. Uh, Northern League. They yeah, were the ones that had the banner up on. They the were Princess right up on Princess Street, Street and they had the banner over the over the pens. But I I don't think there was probably more good done in the various pubs in Edinburgh. Yeah. In, in the after party party as usual. As you yeah. Think it said. I, I would think. There were an awful lot of people. You could hear them walking and, and, and standing at the rally. An awful lot, it was their first march. Mm -hmm. And if you've not been in one, I can still remember being scared. It's scary. Now, if you've never marched yeah. and say this is what I believe politically by standing there with a crowd of other people, it's a funny, strange thing. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people have broken their, their lost their virginity and having marched now and gone to a rally now, they'll, 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 they'll be much quicker to do so again. Yeah, I think okay. the next one should, I mean, when I had read and, and some reports and they were talking about when the band, when, it, when the march took off and there was a pint band, sorry, what pint band? My memory of actually walking from the meadows down to the gardens was silence. I didn't hear the pipes till we got to the gate to the garden. No, the pint band was... We were further back than it seemed. It's a long march, they need more than one bang. Well, that, but there was that, but it was also, the, yes, it was very silent, that's because there weren't the usual suspects with their megaphones going. No, 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 but it's, 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 it's meant to be a we joyous thing. We were whistles. You know, you, know, you go to an ordinary march, somebody will be blue, you know, this is going on all the time. Well, maybe the next time we'll take well, up whistles and we'll, we'll do a three part harmony. Cut to the chase, guys. Cut to the chase and we'll look back at this. Mm. What about September 2013? How many? Uh, what do you reckon? I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping double, anyway. I would imagine double. Might be going for double. You don't think we can hit 100,000? No, I mean, well, you see, times change. And Things are changing. You know, the world is changing around the issue of independence of Scotland. Catalonia looks looks like Spain. I mean, that's, that's kicking off at the moment. Right, OK. So, 20,000. Who do you want to see on the platform who wasn't there this year? Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing some Labour personalities. Well, name names. God, I'm trying to think one within. I'm just. 
Um, Malcolm? Yeah, Malcolm Chisholm will get up there. Um, well, well, I'm looking at within the Scottish Parliament. Um, it's about the only one that's maverick enough to maybe do it, whether he will or not. I think Galloway might have a change of heart and want Gall to do it. No, Gall Galloway's a tied in the, died in the wall. Um, Unionist, um, or very, very much so. It be, but my you, yeah, but he's a, that again. Yeah, I mean, but he's an opportunist. He likes to jump on a bandwagon. No, also because people like that are more likely. Because if you look at one of the most natural progressions to being a nationalist, it's from being a trot to Labour to Nat. The place is full of them. You know what I mean? Um, lots of it's uh, definite. I mean, that was very apparent on Saturday. It's a Cardani. A social democratic movement. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it stood for. Especially, yeah, yeah. social Caramel. democracy. I mean, there's lots of them. I mean, and, and if you actually have a look at the SNP front bench, quite a few of those were actually thrown out in the SNP for being socialists. <laughs> Jim Sellers. Oh, so, yeah, Jim. I, I don't know whether Jim Why was he not on the stage? Actually, Margot, I thought Margot's speech was very good. Auntie Margot. And yeah. she did deliver well, because I thought she I remember. I remember watching Margot in Glasgow when I was 16. Oh, no. But, I mean, yeah. she, she must have, her medication, she, she, she wasn't high. shaking or anything. She, was, she must have yeah. taken a decent dose of her medication, and, because she, her, her whole delivery was very good. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. And she, I mean, she emphasised the inclusivity of right. it. Shall we, uh, shall we be going again next year, then? Oh, yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, we've got a job to do. Margot said we have to get one other person. Okay. Well, actually, person. She, she, she actually, I, I think she went bigger than well, that and talked about if the amount of people that were actually there went out and converted, well, like, one person. Person. oh, no, no, but there was some, wasn't there someone else said, like, there was, like, if everybody here, there's so many thousand, that if you did 20 or 30 or 200, you know, we could do it, yeah. So oh, right, like, yeah, that's uh, true. No, well, actually, no, your minimum should be one. I mean, really, right. as many as possible. Well, thank you, gents. Um, and we'll have a look back at this before we do our podcast for next year's. Yes. Yeah.